Hello, neighbor, and welcome to another episode of Trippy Food. Today, we are in Arcadia, California, and we are at Chung Chun, which uh, th their specialty is Korean rice hot dogs. So basically, think about a corn dog, but think about rice on the outside of it, and they do a lot of interesting and unusual ones. Today, we are going to eat the volcano, which yeah. is a spicy Korean sausage. Yeah. And then we're also having some moki nuts, which are moki Mo donuts. Yeah, mochi. Mo mochi. I'm always, I mean, we gotta, we're going to teach him. <laughs> He doesn't know this word. It's the first time that I know something you don't in our entire friendship. And, and again, we are joined by our friend Matt Zion from Reposini. So you're today you're just Matt Zion? Yeah. Arcadia is a special place in my heart, though, because uh, this is actually where I grew up when I was really young. Uh, then we moved out to like, the Glendora area. But my, gra my grandparents still live out here. And uh, my favorite food place of all times out here, Taco well, Lita. And, but it's funny because it's, you just you just like look up the street and you can like I could spend a week on this street just like eating it all. Oh, the there's so many places, things. yeah. yeah. Uh, usual places, but anyways, this is the, I, and to, to to the untrained eye, this looks you know look like a corn dog, but inside there, there it's covered with rice and not corn, and uh, inside there's a spicy Korean sandwich. So they have some dip, uh, sauces. They'll they'll drizzle on for you or let you dip. And we decided I that the, <laughs> we decided that we would. Um, we would put it on the side, so we got the mango habanero one, since mm -hmm. this is a spicy hot dog anyways. We'll try one without and then we'll get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get this side. Well, you don't here, want to bite, bite. You, you bite where I bit from. Oh, you no, want no, to no, try no, it? Yeah, yeah. Bite, bite. Wait, listen, I hate COVID. It's such a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> We're worried about it. I like it. Sorry. That's the point. I'm going to put a little on there for me. Okay, bring it over here. That is really good. Alright, Dan, where do you want pork for you? Right there. Okay. Alright. Alright. Bye-bye. Okay. So many people give us so much crap for like trying to be at least semi like careful. I'm like, we're in California. It's I mean, this is still the episode. <laughs> No, I don't think it is anymore. Oh, is it? Yeah. yeah. Where is now? We haven't flattened it, but we've come way down. Who's number one now, I, I wonder? I know it's bad in Texas and um, some other places. I was going to guess four. Yeah. So the thing is, like, if you look in the uh, hot dog, it's really good. If you look in that hot dog, you can see there's seeds and pieces of uh, chili in there and everything. But that's really hot. And the, the funny thing is, I was, I was expecting it to taste more sausage like, and it is really hot dog like. Yeah. But I like, I mean, the, the, the rice gives it a completely different uh, flavor and taste. Yeah. I think than you know than a corn dog, and I didn't have them put sugar on here because I didn't want this one to be sweet. This one's sp hot and spicy, and I just wanted it to just be plain hot and spicy. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a big thumbs up. Yeah, it's big really thumbs up. It's really really good. It's actually it's really good spice. And, like, the, and, the, and the, the mango. Oh, the habanero, mango habanero is great. The, the habanero. I mean, the mango gives a little the sweetness that you yeah. might otherwise miss and everything. So yeah, big thumbs up on that. All right, mochi donuts. Let's go, mochi. All right, nuts. so we're gonna start with the watermelon. Yeah. So we're So here's the oh God, watermelon. Mine's, mine's covered up. You just have to trust me. <laughs> it's in there somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Well, this one, this tastes like napkin for some reason. Oh yeah, fruit loops all the way. Or is oh. it, or is it uh, pebbles? Um, Not pebbles. fruit loops. I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right. Fruit pebbles. pebbles. Mmm. Wow. Oh, that's pretty good. The watermelon doesn't hit you right away. I was expecting it to be more like dense and, and chewy, like mochi, mm -hmm. mochi, mochi. That's good though. <laughs> wow, it, what's going on? I'm Can practicing, you, I'm just practicing. You, I don't think you got this. I think in, within an hour you're gonna forget. You're gonna be like, what? I probably will. That's, That's good. good. I'm not even a big fan of like Fruity Pebbles. Um, I was always a Cocoa Pebbles guy over them, but that's great. It kinda tastes like a candle, but in a good way, which is really weird. I don't think I've ever said that sentence before. I'm, up. I'm thinking that I'm thinking that the flavor is mostly in the frosting. I don't think the flavor like kind of uh, permeates the the uh, donut itself. No, thumbs up, so. no. Uh, uh, thumbs up. Yeah, yeah, really. Good. Thumbs up. Too. All right. So what's this one? Uh, that one is the uh, uh, it's the regular place. Milk tea. Oh, milk tea. Okay. Milk tea. Yeah. That's about as arcadey as it gets. <laughs> oh, it smells like a gummy donut. Ooh. Yeah, that one has a lot of that that rice chewiness to it. Mm -hmm. It's very, very chewy. Oh. Yeah. I don't know if I like that one as much. But you have the tea flavor, though. Mm -hmm. I also think you need to like milk tea. I'm not a big milk tea guy at all. Well, you might not like this. Mm -hmm. I like it. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. 
I'm gonna give it a, a thumbs up. Maybe not way up, but still a thumbs up. It's middle of the road. I still prefer the uh, 3D Pebble one above it. All right, what's this one? That one's Black Sesame. Okay. Let's try that. Gotta get the sesames. Black Sesame Matters. Yeah, that was not my jam at all. <laughs> No, hmm? that's not my jam at all. I don't like sesame, the black sesame is almost at all. Hmm. I definitely like the Fruity Pebble one a lot more. Like on my scale, I would have given the Fruity Pebble one a five. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. The frosting doesn't really seem to have a strong um, um, taste. Um. Yeah, it's when you actually bite the sesame themselves. Mm -hmm. Which is good that they only put them on like a portion of it and not the whole thing. Hmm. So. I'm gonna give that one a thumbs in the middle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, but if I, want to rate, if I want to rate them, I'd say the watermelon is my number one. Watermelon's awesome. Another order, I ate them. The watermelon's number one, then the milk tea, then the black system. Watermelon's the one I would come. If I came back and got it again, I would get that. But to be honest, I would come back and get the dogs. Yeah. This place is uh, this place is really really unique. I I, I don't know yeah. where I saw it, but I just saw it and I thought that then looks really interesting and we and thought we would check it out. So, yeah. So we came down here to try it, and I I highly recommend it. So get out here if you can. I think they might have other locations, but this is the one that um, that I saw referenced was the one in Arcadia. So get out here, you definitely try the dogs, you try the Moki Donuts as well. And remember, it's crazy out there, so be careful. Take care of others, take care of yourself, and have a Bye. Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below and be sure to subscribe by clicking on the trippy food icon right here. Glad you could make it and we hope to see you again soon.